Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'll be going over to my favourite AFL player from each team. Um, yeah, my favourite player from each team. So, um, yeah, like, subscribe. Uh, let's get straight into it. So, um, I feel like I had something else to say, but I don't. Uh, right, for Adelaide, I have Rory Laird. Um, yeah, I didn't really know who to choose for Adelaide, but I like Rory Laird, so I thought... He's a good player, so I thought I'll choose Rory Laird. Um, yeah, he's a pretty good player. So I've gone with Rory Laird for Adelaide. Um, yeah, mainly because he's a good player and I like him. And I didn't really, I don't really like any of the other Adelaide players. <laughs> um, that's mainly why. Brisbane, I've got Mitch Robinson. Um, it was up between him and Lockie Neal. Um, yeah, I love the Rob Vlogs. Um, yeah, he's a great bloke, uh, great person. On and off the field, he kicked two good snags on the weekend too. So there you go. But um, yeah, he's definitely a good player. So I think I had to go with him for Brisbane. For Carlton, I've got Sam Walsh. Um, he's a gun player. I love the way he plays. Um, he's just a great player. I live near where he grew up too, so that's another reason why I'm a big fan of him. So he's a great player. One of my favourite Carlton players. I, I do like a couple of the Carlton players, but he was definitely... I could not go past Sam Walsh. Such a good player. Um, yeah, I just absolutely love him. Great player. Seems like a good bloke as well. Um, yeah, ripping player. So, I got Sam Walsh for Carlton. Then for Collingwood, I've just gone with everyone because... Really, you can't... I just can't choose. Like this. I, just, I love every single one of them players on that list um but yeah i've just gone with everyone because i just can't choose who to pick um at the moment maybe jack Ginevan, um but i just had to go with everyone i can't choose a favorite they're all uh too good then for essendon i've got ben hobbs um this bloke's going to be an absolute star um i don't really like many of the essendon players but ben hobbs yeah he has a bright future ahead of him um I like watching him play. He did well for my super coach. Um, not that I really care about my super coach, but um, yeah. So I've got him uh, on this uh, for Essendon for Freo. I've got Michael Frederick. I absolutely love this bloke. Such an exciting player. Um, one of the most underrated small forwards in the game, I reckon. Um, he's such a good player. Absolutely love this bloke. So I've got him for Freo. I do like quite a few of the Freo players, but. Uh, Mike Frederick is by far the best one. Geelong, probably the hardest one to choose since I do not really like any Geelong players, but I've gone with Tyson Stengel. Um, he's come along from Adelaide and he was pretty irrelevant when he was at Adelaide. I didn't really know who he was, but he's just such an exciting player for Geelong. Um, yeah, I have to go with him because I just don't really like any of the other Geelong players, if I'm going to be completely honest. Maybe Sam DeConning, but... Um, that's about it. Maybe Tom Stewart, but then he did that thing on the weekend and I'm not really too, yeah, it's just sort of changed my opinion on him a bit. But, um, yeah, for Gold Coast, I have Took Miller. Um, Gold Coast, you don't really hate any of the Gold Coast players, but, yeah, you don't really get around them. They're just sort of the irrelevant team that no one really cares about. But, um, yeah, I got Took Miller. He's a great player. He uses the ball so well, so... I think I just had to go with him. Um, he's a, just a... I reckon he's a very good chance for the Brownlee. He has to be top five. Um, yeah, I reckon he could definitely win it. Quite underrated, if you ask me. Not many people think he can win the Brownlow, but I'm definitely a huge fan of Took Miller. Then, for GWS, I have Stephen Canelio. This was another pretty hard one to choose, but I th just love the way Cogs plays. Um... He seems like a good bloke. He, he's really, he's just a back to his best form, and he's good to watch. And um, I just couldn't really choose anyone else for GWS, so I've went with Stephen Canelio. For Hawthorne, I've got Tom Mitchell. So um, he's an absolute gun. I've always loved this bloke. Gets a lot of the ball, um, and then he's on Caden's videos, and that makes me like him even more because he's a ripper bloke. Um, yeah, he's just so good to watch. Um, and I've got him for Hawthorne. For Melbourne, I've got Jack Viney. I just love the way he plays. He goes in hard, bumps people, tackles people. It's just great. It's just so good. 
Um, so I've got Jack Viney for Melbourne. Um, I do like quite a few of the Melbourne players, but I've gone with Jack Viney. And for North Melbourne, I literally had no idea. The most irrelevant team in the comp um, by far at the moment. I had no, no idea who to choose, so I thought, that's screw it, I'll just choose Jason or Francis. So I've got no reason to like this player. I don't really care. North are just so irrelevant, so I just had to, I had to choose a player, so I just went with Jason Horn Francis because I didn't know who to choose. So um yeah, I've got Jason Horn Francis for North Melbourne. For Port Adelaide, I've got Ollie Wines now, mainly because he won the Brownlow last week year and I had a Brownlow predictor of him, but he's another way, he's like Jack Viney, he gets in there. Um, great player, uh, yeah, big head, great player, just love the way he he plays and he's a great player I've said that about eight times but who cares he's, he's a great player then for Richmond I've got Daniel Rioli a very very exciting player um, yeah I just couldn't choose anyone else I don't oh, Dusty like I don't hate him but I don't really like him um, and then Shea Bolton I hate him so I couldn't choose uh, yeah I couldn't choose I just I just I went with Daniel Rioli okay get it in your head um, yeah so I've got Daniel Rioli for Richmond St Kilda, I've got Jack Steele, one of my favourite non cling players. Um, I love the way he plays, he's just such a good player. He's probably, he's, I reckon he might win the Brownlow next year if he plays injury free. Um, yeah, he's a great player. He carries, he, on the weekend, he was, I think he, he was the only player trying for St Kilda. Um, yeah, I just absolutely love Jack Steele. Now for Sydney, I think you have to go with Buddy Franklin. Um, just such an exciting player. He's kicked a thousand goals. He's probably going to be the last player to do it if we're going to be uh, completely honest. So um, yeah, he kicks him from every. Doesn't really anymore because you know he's like 32 or something. But um, yeah. Then for West Coast, I've got Nick Nanui. Um, I really, I've always liked Nick Nat, especially when he didn't play in the 2018 Grand Final. Um, otherwise, he definitely wouldn't be on this list. But um, yeah, I don't really know why. I've just always liked him. Uh, I like his name. That's probably why Nick Nanui. It's a pretty, pretty cool name, if I'm going to be honest. And uh, he's a great ruck, very good. Uh, too bad he's injured at the moment, but he's a very good ruck. Now, the Bulldogs, the last one, I've got Adam Trelaw with Josh Dunkley being a close behind. Um, obviously, ads came from uh, from Collingwood, and he's travelled to the Bulldogs, sadly. I really wish he still played for Collingwood. And I love his YouTube channel with uh, Josh Dunkley. It's great. He's a great player. Um, definitely, probably an underrated player. I feel that um, he's probably top 20 for the Brownlow. I reckon he's having a ripper season. Um, so I've got Adam Trelaw for the Bulldogs. So that will wrap up the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, if this video gets, uh, no, let's go small, 10 likes, I'll do my least favourite player from each club. I know that pretty much every man and their dog's done this video, so I'm not going to give credit to everyone because I'd have to give credit to about 100 people. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.